I've just returned from the eternal city of Rome, and let me tell you, it's a place that captures your heart and imagination. But, as with any adventure, there are a few things I wish I'd known beforehand. So, buckle up as I take you through the ultimate guide to navigating Rome like a pro. First off, let's talk transit. Forget the cliche taxi queues, the Leonardo Express is your express lane to adventure. For a mere $15, this direct train is your hassle-free pass to the city's pulsing heart. And here's a savvy traveler's secret. Snag your tickets while you're at baggage claim and just follow the signs. It's a breeze. But hold on. There's a little Italian quirk you need to know. Ticket validation. It's a quick stamp at the station, but it's your golden shield against fines. So give it a tap and you're all set to explore. Rome, the city of echoes. This isn't a place to rush. It's a living museum waiting for you to wander its storied streets. Lace up your walking shoes and let Rome reveal its secrets, one cobblestone at a time. The Colosseum and Vatican Museum. These aren't just attractions, they're time portals. And with a pre-booked ticket, you're the VIP, skipping the lines and diving straight into the epic tales of gladiators and Renaissance artistry. So remember this, skip the line, embrace the time. Pre-book and make every second in Rome an encounter with history. It's not just advice, it's your key to unlocking the true essence of this timeless city. Ah, Rome, a city where coffee is more than a drink, it's a ritual. As you wander the cobbled streets, let the aroma of freshly brewed espresso guide you to the bustling cafes. Here's the scoop. In Rome, coffee is typically enjoyed on your feet. Yes, that's right, standing at the bar is the norm. Remember stand and sip. Join the locals at the counter for a quick, energizing espresso. It's a moment to pause, relish the rich flavors, and watch the world go by. Plus, it's easy on the wallet. If you prefer to linger over your latte, be prepared for a little extra charge. It's not just a seat. It's a front row ticket to the street theater of Roman life. And that, my friends, is worth every penny. So, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Stand, sip, and soak in the charm of this timeless city. After all, when you're sipping coffee in Rome, you're part of a tradition that's as old as the Pantheon itself. As the sun dips below the Roman skyline, the city transitions from ancient ruins to a culinary stage. Dinner in Rome isn't just a meal, it's a performance, with the main act commencing between 8 and 10 p.m. But the prelude to this gastronomic symphony begins earlier, at 6 p.m., with the cherished tradition of aperitivo. This is where the magic starts. Picture yourself in a quaint piazza, a spritz in hand, surrounded by an array of tantalizing bites. It's not just about wetting your appetite, it's about savoring the moment, the company, and the anticipation of the feast to come. When night falls, Rome dines. As evening unfolds, trattorias and ristorantes open their doors, inviting you to partake in a dining experience that's steeped in history and flavor. Whether it's a plate of al dente pasta or a slice of Roman pizza, every dish tells a story. So when you're in Rome, indulge in the aperitivo, embrace the late dinners, and let your taste buds revel in the flavors that define this eternal city. Attention, cultural connoisseurs. As you prepare to step into the hallowed halls of Rome's majestic churches, remember that reverence is key, and it starts with your attire. To honor these sanctuaries of history and faith, a modest dress code is your passport to enlightenment. Knees and shoulders. These are sacred no-show zones. Ensure your clothing choices reflect the respect these spiritual sites command. Think knee length or longer, and shoulder covering garments to blend seamlessly into the serene ambiance. It's not just about avoiding a fashion misstep. It's about embracing the traditions that have echoed through these ancient arches for centuries. Dressing appropriately is a silent nod to the past and a sign of consideration for fellow visitors and worshipers alike. So as you curate your Roman wardrobe, pack with purpose, your thoughtful choices will unlock the doors to some of the most awe-inspiring art and architecture the Eternal City has to offer. If you're yearning to escape the tourist hordes and discover the Rome that locals cherish, you're in for a treat. Let's veer off the tourist track and meander through the heart of Rome's authentic charm, its vibrant neighborhoods and hidden culinary havens. Monte is Rome's trendy retreat nestled amidst the relics of antiquity. Monte is Rome's bohemian jewel. This district, with its narrow lanes and indie boutiques, is a haven for the artsy and the adventurous. 
Here, every corner cafe and artisanal shop tells a story and the food. It's a symphony of traditional flavors with a modern twist. Trastevere is a gastronome's delight cross the Tiber to Trastevere, where the cobblestone streets echo with the laughter of diners and the clinking of wine glasses. This neighborhood is a feast for the senses, offering a tapestry of trattorias that serve up the most sumptuous Roman fare. From classic carbonara to tantalizing tiramisu, Trastevere is a culinary escapade waiting to happen. So step off the well-trodden path and into the soul of Rome. These districts are not just stops on a map, they are experiences that will linger long after you've returned home. In the heart of Monti, there's a gem called Mizio Street Food. This unassuming spot might be easy to miss, but it's a treasure trove of flavors. From hearty sandwiches to local delicacies, Mizio's is a testament to the saying, don't judge a book by its cover. Every bite is a delightful surprise, and trust me, you won't leave disappointed. For those evenings when you crave a sit-down dinner, 53 Untitled is my top pick. It's not just a meal, it's an experience. The ambiance, the service, and oh, the dishes. They're nothing short of culinary masterpieces. If you're in Rome, make sure to treat yourself to 53 Untitled at least once. You'll thank me later. The eternal city of Rome, a beacon for wanderlust souls from every corner of the globe. But fear not, for even amidst the allure of its ancient stones, you can carve out moments of tranquility. Here's how to transform your Roman holiday from crowded to serene. Off-peak exploration. Embrace the charm of Rome during the winter months. It's a time when the city breathes, free from the throngs of summer tourists. The air is crisp, the pace is slower, and Rome opens up to you in a way that's intimate and real. Seize the day, own the night, harness the power of dawn and dusk. As the city slumbers, rise with the first rays of sunlight to witness Rome in its purest form. And as twilight descends, watch iconic sights like the Trevi Fountain and Spanish Steps transform into tranquil havens for contemplation. By following these simple yet effective strategies, you'll discover a Rome that's yours alone to cherish. So pack your bags, set your alarm, and prepare for an adventure that's as peaceful as it is enchanting. And now, for the attraction I'd think twice about, the Vatican Museums. Yes, the art is breathtaking, but the experience, not so much. The crowds can be overwhelming, making it hard to truly appreciate the masterpieces. My advice? Wait until they manage the flow better, or be prepared for a less than ideal visit. Got questions or need more tips? Drop them in the comments below. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more travel insights. Until next time, keep exploring and creating unforgettable memories.